Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the President's Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, I'll be putting May and her stupid little lie noon out of her misery and hand her the last L of this adventure. If a certain Sleepy Joe has any final words to say to her, speak now or forever hold your peace. Good morning to you too, Donald. I'm already May's number one friend on Snappy Chatty, and we've got a 69-day fire emoji streak, whatever that means. So I have a feeling this won't be the last time I'll personally be seeing her. Go nuts, my friend, before she goes on my nuts. How are we today, guys? Already acting out of pocket from your intro, Joe, you never cease to surprise me. I'm doing great, and I'm starting to have hope that we will actually finish this run. You and I didn't let anything faint in our previous two episodes, and your team composition today is hotter than a mag cargo Donald. Considering we are into the last quarter of the game now, it's safe to say we are so back. I'm back, big mad. WTF, what is this? We don't need to throw for content anymore, you agron built imbecile. Chill and nay there, Barack. Ledian is still pathetically weak, even in a randomizer. This wannabe Power Ranger could have launched a Leaf Storm, and Boo Boo would only come out with a small Boo Boo. Leaf Storm was introduced in Diamond and Pearl gum shoes. You should start stockpiling your mind with information instead of swallowing stacks of Dorito bags, you bum. I literally have more money than the two of you MFs combined. Come back when you make three mil on the daily. Well, you better put your money where your mouth is and literally start sucking my main man, Benjamin. Joe! Why would you suggest that? Better question. Why would you even want to see that? That is just creepy as hell, boy -y. Anyway, Donald, I'm sure I don't need to warn you about how terrifying a Metagross can be. Please play carefully around this goon. Damn, this man even has lefties. Don't worry, guys. Leave it to above average size D. Ain't no way he getting a crit with Slash. I can see it. If it ain't Mr. Bin Laden, then it's a fiery dog. And if it ain't a fiery dog, it's a glorious mega chicken. Donald getting carried by a legendary part always. I don't even care if he gets carried, Joe. At least he's doing whatever it takes to win the run. I was meant to ask Donnie, but how's the future site training going? Have you been able to look into the passage of fate and see what reality awaits us? Well, we all live to die, Barack. That's what awaits us at the end of life. A null void of emptiness once you cross the death plane. Just grab the 100 coin star and you can stand on that bitch. Shut up, Joe, you sleepy simply simp. Anyways, I see two things in front of me. This stupid Rudolph-looking ass and tombstones. May will start looking like blue because I'm about to kill her whole team. Dead radicate theory? Let me tell you about the dead lie noon theory. Ah, I get it. Because you'll be making it to Mount Pyre today, Donnie. We will be sure to make a visit to May's team once we send them to the further beyond. While we're there, we might as well visit Winona's pussy. Sorry, guys. I know you should never go back to your ex, but last Wednesday I used every move under the drought-setting sun on that poor thing. Beat up, pound, bone club, string shot, water gun, forest curse, lick, submission. If it's a Pokemon move, I used it on her. What do you mean by, I used the move forest's curse? Well, when the bush gets so hairy you need a lawnmower to move south, you pour some lube on the female in question. And when she begins to squirm, that's when All you right, know Joe. That's enough of your scarily descriptive sex moves. Legends is at a Chris plus six attack from Belly Drum, so Iron Tail is going to exterminate this freaky rodent. Just use Ice Punch, you knackly nutsucker. Ice Punch isn't physical in this game, remember, Joe? Of course it is. It has Punch right there in its name, dumbass. I should lend you my Iron and Zinc pills, Barack. What's the switch, Donnie? I ain't no pussy. Legends with the YOLO Hail Mary. What the fuck? I got it. He's gonna miss an iron tail will one shot. Extra sensory never misses. You fucking teeny dratini rat bastard. How bad do you have to be at this game holy balls and titty sauce? Nice pivot into the doggo. Further proving my statement of broken monsters carrying your overweight ass when it's your turn. Holy pidgey puke that was almost choke of the run. If Entei literally took a fiery dump all over the screen right now, there would be less flaming hot dog shit on the field compared to your gameplay. What were you thinking, Donald? Why are you two freaking out? I had that under control the whole time. Chillax like a munchlax. You literally look like an extra large munchlax, you fatso. High jump kick ends the fight. Can you both stop whining now? No, it doesn't, Hiker Donald. OMFG, bro got called a hiker, the tubbiest trainer sprite that ever lived. I heard you like dragons, Donald. You know Drudagon, more like blood is gone. You should go into hiding after that roast, Kabapi. Solo sis is flabbergasted. Skim frizzy. You two diplin shits are water spouting such utter nonsense. That's enough. 
We got that rustic May pack now that I've smoked her ass right into the grass. Any final words, Joe? Sure, two things. First, thank God for Rule 34. Second, thank God the FBI is on my side while I use said Rule 34 on my bay, May. Would you guys allow me the honor to pump one out for the final time? Ew, no. That's disgusting. What have you been doing while Barack and I have been battling her? I've been honing the hone edge. I've been flooring the auroras. I've been circling the ursaring. Call me Grookey because I've been slamming my dick like a stick. Quite disturbing, Joe. But now that we're in the shopping center, I would like to give a quick thank you to all the donators that got us here. No, not my real life Trump shareholders. I mean the commenters who have actually donated money for us to use in this department store. And of course, fund the series. Thank you to US President Central, who I'm getting deja vu with for some reason. The Poisonous Turtle, Noah Zarens 2416, Mimi C193, and Brandon Scruton. You've all helped the series make it this far. So thank you so much. As if that wasn't crazy enough, I want to give an extra special thank you to Do You Even Lift One for the $20 dono and Samuel Dienqua for the whopping 25 pound donation. Ironically, that's exactly how many pounds I gave Joe's mama last night. I know. I heard all 25 rounds live Obama. Thanks for that, by the way. Finally, before we all get back to being sussy little boys, from our Buy Me A Coffee page, I want to thank Kevin, who bought 40 socks, and Matthew Grant Henriquez, who bought a staggering 50 socks. Wow, that is a lot of cum. Stop it, Joe. Viewers, honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you all for the love and support so far in this series. Our editor always says we have the best fans, and for once, that Litwick liquor is right. Anyways, boys, this store is absolutely popping. I grabbed myself 99 Moonstones, just in case, a Thunder, Water, and Leaf Stone also, a couple of Lepa Berries for rationing PP better, and some Dive Balls. Great success. Hold up these TMs are where it's at. Substitute is an instant dub. Sketch is sick and Meteor mash my balls. Is this for real? I'm not falling for that after what you did to me last time I mashed your nuts with a Meteor, Barack. Looks like we have eruption or water spout as TM38. Recover on the second one. The next one might be extreme speed, which would honestly just be godlike to have on any of our physical attackers or legends. And the, I, I can't really tell what the last one is. High crit rate though. It might be poison tail, which could be good coverage depending on who wants to learn it. Go ahead and sell our useless TMs, Donnie. It's too risky to use the likes of endure and reversal when we are this deep in the game. And with newfound access to either water spout or eruption, they are way more reliable and powerful. Gotcha, Baraco Taco. Let me just sell a couple of worthless items here while I'm at it. My protein. Reggie Steele. Great. You've set off Reggie Biden now for the episode. I hope you're happy, Donatello, you pizza munching milsery. How in all of Goldenrod was I meant to know that selling his pathetic little supplements would do this to him? Pokemon, snap out of this, Joe. Take it like a Mandibuzz. I would take it like an American Mandibuzz and put it in a Japanese Mandibuzz. If you don't get it, just Google its name. I couldn't make that shit up if I tried. Common Generation 5L, muahahaha. I'm out of this joint, suckers. Did that shopping spree get anybody else moist? What's up, boys? I heard one of you are looking for a sponsor to splash some cash in the department store. Moist Cheese Puff or Moist Farmer or Moist Corpse have a ring to it, you know? Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. You better watch yourself, Charlie, or I'll pull out the sniper called Skaroopy and I'll let the bug bite. Let me one-up you, Donnie. The chopper called Drapian, and you don't want to cross this poison. I'll unload a full clip in your ass. You want to be Jesus. You buffoons, they're fucking mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummies. Okay, wet man, give us some space here. The drenched Scooby snack is evolving our pussy right now. Shit, you jackasses caught Sneeko. You should plug your cum sock merch now, Mr. President, while the triggered audience is present. Oh my god, thank you. I keep telling these guys they'll fly off the shelves, but they never believe me. Thanks, damp dude. Well, lick and tongue my balls, that was a pleasant surprise. Have you guys made a Sloppenheimer joke yet? Only like 50 gazillion times, you happy feet bastard. Let's see what cheap fuck evolves into. I have high hopes for this guy. He is my main in Smash Brothers brawl after all. <laughs> Obamna is in fully automatic mode. Watch his mags, boys. Wait, I just realized. Didn't we already have John Wick on this series before? 
So all of a sudden the fake Messiah shows up and we get two worthless evolutions. Now that I have to bench a fucking lie noon, I might as well start shoving blue potatoes in the land down under while a beluga whale blows me in the middle of the Pacific. How is that for moist, you bamboozler? Hey, leave Penguin Z0 out of this, buddy. He could cancel your ass with his moist meter and I ain't talking about his dong. So who wants the sponsorship, you pawn yard pump chumpers? Please don't make me take on a dude who plays League or StarCraft. My org can't take any more shit players. Calm down there, Purple Rain. I'm good on the offer. The farm pays nicely for my bills. I wipe my ass with six mil every night. Why the hell would I need your petty money? And I just steal things if I want them. Who are they going to report me to? The president? Yeah, good talk. You're the only ass munchers who will turn down free money, you know that? Whatever, I'm out of here. I've got to go make a Galarian Ponyta take a shit or something. Peace! I miss my dad already. I remember the days he'd load my rifle with a mag while assaulting me. Ah, uh, those were the days. I don't know what you mean by that, Joe, and I don't think I want to look into it. You actually have a truckload of new encounters available because of the surfing routes in Safari Zone Donald. If you could RNG manipulate a legendary, that would be amazing. Channel your inner Hitler and manipulate some bitches, Barack. Whoa, wait. Donnie, I love you, buddy. Gang, gang. He manip the king, the kid, the goat, the legend. <laughs> Toilet bird gang, 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 gang. Gulp me up and absorb my spicy moisture. Yuppa gang, a gang, gang. We are motherfucking eating it up. <laughs> I did this for you, best buddy. Is it another water type? Yes. Is it four times weak to electric? Absolutely. But will it make my closest companion happy? If it does, then this is totally worth it. Why couldn't you run into something powerful, you bell sprout blowing bimbo? Literally anything except a water type would have been handy. As Joe said, summoning Hitler would have been more useful. Hitler ain't got shit on Toilet Bird. Call me Hook. Gang. God. Any gangers in chat? Okay, so what am I calling this big mouth mammy boy Dumpy or something? If you don't call him Toilet, I will abduct your whole family and bring my binoculars to the playground while wearing no pants. So basically nothing will change. Is that what you're saying? To be fair, that little boy asked me to take them off last time, so it wasn't my fault. Stop it, Joe. That is just creepy as hell, man. Are you going to avoid this double battle by teaching somebody cut Donald? What do I have to worry about? My five water types plus peak will be fine. So what if a shiftry can sweep our whole team? I'm not ashamed of wiping out here. I thought the only thing you were wiping was your ass while Millie rocking. I wish you would treat your dementia more seriously, Joe. I don't think this battle will pose much of a threat to you, Donnie. So do you have your comment question lined up for the viewers? Great timing, Obama. Joe brought up Smash Bros earlier, so I'm going to use that as a basis for my question, which is this. Viewers, what Pokemon should they add to the roster of the next Super Smash Bros game? How about if Laparass dies, he gets added to the next entry? Oh, no! Well, that's a dumb answer, Sleepy Joe. Why would you even suggest... Rick Gasly Gooch, you flary and feet fucker, please no! Quite frankly, I don't care who gets into the next Smash, as long as Donut Chomper Trump here doesn't get to play because his gaming skills are atrocious. How do you nearly lose lap or ass against a fire and ground type? Please somebody explain to me how that makes any sense. To answer your question, B-Rabbit, you choke artist, I would add Swampert. He would be a bulky boy with strong ass brawler kinds of attacks, but he could still have projectile moves like Hydro Pump or Earth Power. He would be like Donkey Kong, but actually fun and playable. Barack, just to let you know, I disliked Donkey Kong before I found out he was related to you. No hard feelings. Shut up! His final smash is obvious. He could just mega evolve into the Chonkmeister 4000 and go bananas on the opponent. No Diddy Kong, or as I like to call him, Kitty Dong. Why the hell do we let you in on these calls, Joe, you creeper? At least he answered my gosh darn question, or Shifu Dark. Go read the Scroll of Darkness again. Speaking of Pokemon Mid-Sword and Wax Shield, I would choose Toxtricity. The variety of moves you could give this guy with his unique poison and electric typing would be monstrous. You could give him damage over time moves and stun moves, which would automatically make him a force to be reckoned with. Low key. His low key form could also be implemented as an echo fighter or as a stance change. His final smash would be his crazy gecko gigantamax form launching a G-Max stun shock. Now that's what I'm talking about. Y'all are tripping rapscaballs with your picks. 
If you want someone to join with an Echo Fighter, look no further than Zoroark. The regular version is a TM learning beast with access to Brick Break, Flamethrower, Snarl, Shadow Ball, and the list goes on and on. His neutral or side special could be knockoff, which could have the unique effect of having the opponent lose their item or charge. So if Samus had her charge shot ready to go, or if Princess Peach aka God Tier Waifu was holding a turnip and Zoroark used knockoff on them, they would lose their charge and item respectively. Then you have the Legends Arceus version, which would have bitter malice, which would make the opponent deal less damage. Sakurai, if you ever need help in the fighters concept meetings, you know where I'm at, my guy. Wow, I actually really like that idea, Barack. Here I was thinking you only wanted to add Zoroark because he is calamitous. Max, excuse me, Joe, what did you mean by that? Well, apparently it's politically incorrect to call people black nowadays, so I've started using similar words. Calamitous, dark, sprinters, and my favorite, thieves. All right, I've had enough. The gloves are off, buddy. I'm gonna smoke you like a cherub. Put them up! I ain't dealing with this absolute anarchy anymore, you son of a- Go! My fleet of safari balls! Well, that was pathetic. Why didn't you throw the food to make it easier to catch you, idiot? Wow, bait used to be believable. You could have gone near his swiney little face. That would have helped either. Wow, going near used to be believable. Shut up, you boom burster. You've got another three encounters around this area before you even think about ending the episode. You've literally done jack shit for your turn and are purposefully leaving the tough parts of the game to Joe and I. I would do Jack's Nesquik looking shit until the end of time. Rip to pack. I'm so happy they caught- Your brother's killer Barack, right? Isn't that what you were gonna say? Ah ha ha, good one, Joe. You're so original and funny and smart. It's true in the streets they call me Alakazam Barack, but that was just racist on your part. Sheesh. Oh my God, my prediction came through. You passed the swad loon spliffy off to him again, didn't you, Barack? What in Jellicent's name is he talking about? I literally said earlier that in the future I see tombstones and this reindeer looking ass. And look who our capture is. Oh wow, you were right. This is game changing. An abysmal normal type that has absolutely nothing going for it. Your power is so useful, Donnie. On go bongo. The only good thing about this delectable looking treat is the fact he is already level 39. That basically means he is on par with our early 30s mons for what that's worth. When you put it that way, it ain't even worth a pick of my left middle toe. Some animals will pay pure bank to get a snap of that. Stop acting so weird, you glam meow muncher. This Stantler is kind of kicking your ass in the quote retweets right now, so why don't you activate your newfound power up and catch this guy? Like aids to a wiener, huh? It's a freaking Stantler Barack. This man makes Intimidate look like garbage. That's how worthless he is. If we catch him, we have a nice sacrifice to the pokey gods. If not, the outcome of this run will not be changed in the slightest, I guarantee. Leave Mew 3 out of this and just catch Adolf here. I can't bear to look at his goofy A-Zero sprite looking ass anymore. <laughs> Hold that tinka tink thought for a second. What did you just call this guy, Joe? Nah, 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 nah. That is the funniest shit I ever did see. Ha ha ha. It's Adolf the Stantler, the most famous dictator in history, referenced by one of the most atrocious Pokemon to ever come out of the franchise. I love it. What's worse, the Holocaust or having Stantler stats? I just thought instead of Rudolph, call him Adolf. That's the reason I referred to him as that. Ha 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 ha, that's even fucking worse. It's Donald, yay. Finally, the real Donnie has appeared. Moby Dick incarnate. I bet he's got thick fat too. Joke's on you, Orangaroo. Whaler gets all the skitties. You know what that means? I get all the kitty pussy meow meow. Let's get it, gamers! Off, off, off! There it is. Officially the most cringe thing ever said in this playthrough. And I am absolutely dead ass about that. Did you hit the hype dance after saying that, Donald? Also, I'm more of a Passimian nut roller, just to clarify. Nah, I just hit a snug little nay nay while borking. You did not just say that. My soul is writhing in pain after that exchange. I'm not gonna lie, this guy seems like slimy booty clappers, boys. His moveset is pretty damn awful and he has cute charm for an ability. Very relevant to the topic at hand, but logically it's not that great in terms of viability. Oh, and probably the most important factor, it's another water type. Like, come on, man. Don't write him off yet, Donald. He would literally be perfect for the team. As I said, he represents you in your truest form. This is Donald Jillian Dump Ketchup after you give him the greasy ass orb. He transforms into this humongous whale and proceeds to scarf 40 boxes of 20 chicken nuggets. 
That's 8,000 chicken nuggets in total for anyone trying to do the maths. Pure facts, no printer. Still, there's no point in whining over it when you're going to be trying to capture it anyway, Donald. If you can just catch this guy in your final encounter down south, I'll take on Archie and the rest of Mount Pyre next time. You pretty much had another filler episode, but hey, what's new there? Hold on now, how is that my fault? I beat May, which progresses the story, went on a killer shopping spree, and caught the mastermind behind World War II himself. If that ain't enough for you, lower your standards a bit. The May fight actually isn't mandatory. You can continue the rest of the game without fighting her, and she even has different dialogue if you fight her post-elite foreign champion. You failed our safari zone capture, and by the looks of it, you're going to fail our Mount Pyre battle too. The progress you've made is embarrassing, my guy. Is that true, Joe? Where did you learn that fact? Have you tested it in game for yourself? I was actually the one who founded that secret message. You see, when I was able to stroke the slig goo five times a day, May's overworld sprite was my number one option to do it to. So I kept playing through the game like normal. And when I was bricked up, I would fly back to Lily Cove to unleash Dragon Pulse. You're welcome, did you know gaming? Shut up, you steeny sucking assholes. Now the whale is burned. He's on a timer now to be caught, but if you two keep distracting me, I won't be able to focus on manipulating the RNG. Oh, please. The only thing you can manipulate is either taxes or women. And I'd argue your scun tank shit at doing both regardless. Well, here goes my last ball. Hopefully this manip works like it did on Barack's mama last night. Ryoiki Tenkai. Get down! Nato Panchi. What the hell? You sabotaged me. Barack, you traitor. Lord Suki Gruki would never disrespect me like that. I'm pretty sure I hit all the frame perfect inputs and you still got in the way. What are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to teach you a lesson, Donald. When you ascend your mortality and gain a new transformation, these are the types of powers you gain. The ability to guarantee but also fail a capture. To feel love and yet to give sorrow. To have power while also draining others of power. You see what I'm trying to say? Do these heavenly powers even show you why Stunfisk was created? Come on, Joe, you know there's no answer for that question. All right, rats, listen up. Don't make me go spreading Barack and Joe or dead theories around Lavender Town because I'm approximately eight seconds away from launching the zap cannons to your locations. Time for our next team member. I have a good feeling about this one. Call me Dimitri. Kill every last one of them. Rat, 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 snitch, rat. Takashi, snitch, 6'9", ah! Oh, looky here, another burn. How about this time you don't let this chonky boy die, huh? That would be sublime if you could, Doland. Maybe if you stopped cartridge tilting the game, I'd be able to gobble up this tubby little chode. No homo. How many times do I have to warn you? Stop trying to face fuck the rats, Donald. They aren't into it, and you're just lying to yourself if you say you are. Well, it's all or nothing now. This is my last shot of redemption, no Red Dead. One way or another, I will cram this rat into one of my balls. I wouldn't celebrate yet, Donald, you guzzler, gimping, sweet kiss spamming. What? Not again. Congrats, Donald. You are officially good enough to catch the first ever Route 1 rodent. I'm proud of you. Why, thank you, Sleepy Joe. In fact, I'll name this guy 6ix9ine in your honor. I don't know why anybody would want to be even remotely associated with that snitcher, but you do, you guys. I'm sorry for interfering, Donnie. Thanks for at least not losing anybody today. I guess I should be thankful. No problem, Falco Obama. You better go ham next episode like an oink alone. Screech! Ree! 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 Did Joe just do a pig impression and then dip? Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks to all the supporters again for their generous donations. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and join the Discord down below. Until next time, catch you all later.